Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Chris Barnett versus Junior Tafa. Chris Barnett, 23 wins, 8 losses. He's 3-2 in two in his last 5 fights. He's a plus 300 underdog. Why in the world is he... Again, uh, plus 300 underdog at 38 years old, 5'9 with a 75 inch reach. I guess on paper, sure. But he's fighting Junior Tafa, who's 5-3, and 2-3 three, three in his last 5 fights. On a 2 fight losing streak, uh, tapped against Walter Walker. And uh, got leg kicked against Mar Marcos Rodrigo uh, de Lima. Minus 380 favorite. Why the hell is he that my high of a favorite? 28 years old, 6'3 with a 72 inch reach. Again, I understand the height difference. I get all of that. I, I, I get it. But again, Junior Tafa's takedown defense is some of the worst in the UFC. It's just god awful. Is his striking good? For sure. For sure. But Chris Barnett has fought guys like. Um, uh, even like Ben Rothwell, he submitted him, sure, but come on, he's not, uh, Junior Top has not submitted him. Beat Sean Vellante, Martin Boudet, uh, it was a weird, weird fight. And then he fought Jake Collier two years ago, which, two years ago, which kind of sucks, but yeah. I'm a big, I was a big fan of Jake Collier. I know he's not great, I, I get it, but whatever. One of those guys you just root for. But, um, uh, he, Jake Collier couldn't finish him, and he had him hurt really bad in that fight, so... Junior Tafa, even though, again, I, I'm not saying his stand-up's not good. It is good, but he's very susceptible to certain things. Like, I, I think the creative striking of Chris Barnett's going to cause issues for Junior Tafa. I think the late kicks for Chris Barnett could cause him problems. Also, this is a guy in Chris Barnett, in his 23 wins, he had 18 finishes. He's only been TKO'd. He's only been finished three, four times. One submission, three TKO's. But he has eight finishes in the first round. I, I just, I don't see, unless the 38 years old on, on Chris Barnett is, is really came up with them, in, in, you know, these last two years, I just don't see Junior Tafa being, should, should he be a minus 380? What have we seen for him to deserve to be that? Because he knocked out Parker Porter the same way his brother did? That doesn't mean anything. I mean, it, it doesn't mean anything. So... Yeah, okay, he lost against Muhammad Usman. He was winning the stand-up. All right, cool. Gets destroyed by DeLima, and then beat by, beat by Walter Walker, who he should have beaten, but couldn't stop the takedown. So if anything is worst case scenario, Chris Barnett takes it down. That's a big boy on top of you. 267 when top is 244. It's a big boy. I like Chris Barnett. I think he gets the win, I, even if it's a boring decision. I don't see Junior Tafa winning this unless he can finish Barnett, and it just hasn't happened very much, and he's fought a lot, lot heavier-handed uh, fighters than Junior Tafa. But as, I, as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, let me know who you're picking, and as always, peace.